I keep getting the question, well, what makes High Point Friends School different from the other schools? And simply, I can say that relationships. High Point Friends School values, treasures relationships. So relationships, I think, are the hallmark of what makes us a really good school. The school began in 1963, High Point Friends meeting, decided to start a school by having a preschool and a kindergarten in 1963. We had and still have the best uh, preschool in High Point. When sign-up day came, when you had to register, there would be a line of uh, cars and people from the lower parking lot all the way out to Quaker Lane to be sure they got in to get their child registered for the preschool. And then in 1999, the school decided to add additional grades. Uh, we got the first mobile unit in, which housed the first grade on one side and the administrative office on the other side. The next year, we added the second <coughs> mobile unit, which took care of the second and third grade while we were building uh, the first building. In 2001, the Archie and Louise Hanberia Educational Center was created. In 2002, first grade was added, and then each year an additional grade was added as well. We got uh, David Girardi, uh, who was a wonderful man. He, was, he, he is a Quaker. He did not know it at the time. He, <laughs> but he adopted our values, our uh, philosophy, uh, and at the same time was an excellent uh, administrator and educator. In 2009, the Kingry Center was built where we have a lot of events and exciting activities that take place in our multi-purpose gym. High Point Friends meeting started this school during the height of the Civil Rights Movement. I think that this meeting was very influential, instrumental in really taking a stand during the Civil Rights Movement. I think it's the, uh, part of it is the values that the, the Quakers have had, their strong interest in uh, not only education, but on uh, equality and uh, they were early on educators of women, uh, early on uh, education of all uh, races. Quakerism is a continuing revelation. As a result, the school is always trying to analyze where we are as a school to evaluate and what do we need to change to modify or revise because a school that is not committed to really taking a hard look at itself and asking questions about itself is not a school that's committed to growing. And that's one of the things that I love about Quaker education. Quakers believe in continuing revelation, continuing development, and that's one of the things that we hold true here at High Point Friends School. We're trying to instill uh, in the students a caring and I think they do. They care for their classmates. They care for their community here. They care for their city. They care for their country. And uh, I think if they have that uh, attitude of caring instilled in them when they go out into the world, whatever they do, they will, they will take that with them.